game again, Game 7, 1991. The Blues and Detroit Red Wings. Yours truly, along with Bruce Affleck, on the call. The Blues and the Detroit Red Wings in Game Number 7. Starting goalies tonight for Detroit. And then most of the way, 23-year-old Tim Shevelday, who gave up three goals on 21 shots last game. He has been a big part of this Detroit Red Wings success. At the other end, of course, Vincent Riendo, 24-year-old. Shut out the Red Wings last game, 3-0. He's got a streak of 117 minutes and 48 seconds of shutout hockey. There's only one goal was allowed in the early going. In game number five back here in St. Louis, the Blues won 6-1. That's a job Vincent Riendo has done. The lines are in tonight. Ron Finn and Gerard Goche. Referee Terry Grayson, and here's John Kelly to tell you about game number seven. We are underway here in St. Louis. Off the draw, the Blues get to center Oates with Paul and Gino Cavallini. Red Wings break it up, though, in Burr. Got a better off into the Blue zone. There's Federoff. Right wing side to shoot, Chuck back to Federoff. Big save, Riendo! On Federoff! 21 seconds into the game, and Riendo makes the first big stop. He made the stop. Sean Burr came in and gave a glove to Gino Cavallini's face. But a great stop by Vincent Riendo on Federoff, who's been stopped since game number one. He had a goal in game number one, and that has been it. Same goes for Steve Eisenman. He got the hat trick in game one, but he's held, he held scoreless on the goal side since then. Well, out of the lineup for the Blues tonight, Curtis Joseph out with the knee injury, Ron Wilson, Tom Tilly, Harold Schnepp, and Steve Tuttle. We'll tell you about the Detroit changes in a minute. There's quite a few of them. And the Blues lineup has not changed since game six. Would you change anything? Why, right? That's right. After a 3 nothing win, the only change I might have made would be maybe Tunnel for Kimball, but that's obviously up in the air. It has not been done. So. It has not been done. Off the draw, the Blues clear it down the ice. No icing here as Chason goes back for Detroit. Sets up behind the goal. Up the middle for Iserman. At center ice to Carson. Probert, the other member of that line. Blues break it up in Dave Lowry. That center for Bassett. Into Sutter on right wing. A shot from near the line. That's blocked. Now Sutter after it in the corner. Chase on around the boards to Carson on right wing. He's bumped. Iserman to center ice. Long dump in. Colbert gets it near corner. Missed a check from Sutter. And Basson plays it behind the Blues goal. For Lowry on left wing. And Lowry scoops it high in the air. And it goes down the ice. Icing coming up here on the Blues. Now the coach of the Detroit Red Wings, former Washington Capitol coach. Coach Brian Murray talked about his success or lack of success in the playoffs. Six years in a row he had leads in playoff series. He was defeated in all six. Well, John, it was good to see the Blues came right out and bumped Bob Probert. He actually stopped to get out of the way from a check of Rich Sutter. When Bob Probert stopped to get out of the way of a check, you know you're doing something right. Now Miller at center between Hapscheid and Primo. No score, a minute 11. Into the first period. Quinn on the draw, lost it. A quick shot by Primo wide. Now behind the Blues goal. Quinn digs it free. Up on right wing for Chase. At center ice to Jeff Brown. There's Brown, a long shot. That goes wide. Chevalier left it there. A shot by Brindamore. Just wide, and Chevalier nearly got caught out of the net. Back to center is Miller for Detroit. Into the zone. Makes a move, but Brown broke it up. And back is Quinn on left wing. Quinn across the line. Now in the far corner for Chase. Centers it. Here's Brown, right wing, a shot. Tip wide by Brindamore. Chase bumps Rick Green into the far corner. Now Brindamore after it. Tied up by Hapshide. Four players fight for it. Chase in that corner. Steps on the puck like a soccer player. Back to Stevens. Right point to Brown. Into the corner for Quinn, left it there. Puck ahead and cleared by the Red Wings. Primo back down the ice. No score here in game seven. The Blues go back. Brown behind his goal. Far side for Stevens. Up ahead for Gino Cavallini at center ice, two outs. He'll flip it in. Chevrolet left it behind the goal. Brad McCrimmon back there. Up to McKay on left wing. 
He'll clear it away. Now Butcher for the Blues at his own line. Lost it. And rookie Bill McDougal, who was just called up for the minors today, clears it in. The Blues send it back down the ice. No icing here as McCrimmon goes back. In behind his goal. Past the center ice, knocked down by Butcher. He lifts it right back into the Red Wings end. Here's McCrimmon. Lost it. Oh, steals it. Shoots it wide. And Sean Burr for the Red Wings. Can't clear it by Hall. Down to the corner, Oates to Hall. A shot, and he just missed the far side with a low drive. And it goes down the ice. Play goes on. We played three minutes and 15 seconds of this scoreless first period. Here's Oates to center. Try to send Hall in, broken up. And Paul Cavalini flips it in. And back are the Red Wings. McCrimmon turns. Up on right wing, broken up by Stevens. Across the line, a shot! That's just wide. And the puck rolls to center. Now picked up by Probert. He's upended by Tomlinson, and Mahar steals it. At center for Tomlinson. He had the game-winning goal in game six. He flips it in. Dallas back for Detroit. Around the boards it goes, held in by Stevens. He centers it, Kimball knocked down, nothing called. And Eiserman gets it at center ice for Detroit. Now in for Carson on left wing, back in front. Clover a shot, and Brown got over and blocked that. And the blow is cleared away. Here's Kimball at center ice. Let it roll off his stick. Kimball still after it, gets the puck to the near corner. But Zombo there for Detroit. No score, we've played over four minutes. Now Carson to center ice. He can't walk around Stevens. And the Blues come back the other way. Led by Jeff Brown. He'll flip it in. Racine back for Detroit. Clears it. And the puck to center. Butcher there. Missed it. In a pass. And Paul Cavalier knocked it away. As he broke up the two on one. And the Blues come back. Bassett into Lowry on left wing. Lowry right in. And he can't center it. Now Lowry far corner. But a penalty call behind the play. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Referee Terry Grapeson makes his first call, and Keith Primo gets an interference call. The penalty coming at 4.55. Blues with some great pressure. He takes out the Blues player coming in from the right side. Primo gets the interference call. Blues 3 for 35 on the power play. What a time to get it hot. Game number 7 here. The Blues go on the power play. They get the draw, left point, Brown. To Hall, back to Brown. Now to Hall, a shot! Save rebound! Tomlinson put it wide. Now Brett Hall, far side, back to Brown. He'll slap it in deep. And then a penalty called on Tomlinson as he tripped up Bobby Dallas. And there goes the Blues power play. Now David Tomlinson, game winner last game, goes off. Just 17 seconds after the primo penalty, that nullifies the power play. He just pulls player down. Easy call for referee Terry Gregson. It only comes at 5-12. Goes off for hooking. And that nullifies the power play. John, Detroit has made five changes in the lineup. Out tonight are Mike Sillinger, Brent Fedek, Johan Garpenloff, Doug Crossman, and Mark Potvin. Gallant and Barra with injuries. So that's a lot of changes for game number seven. And they put in a couple of veterans on defense, Rick Green and Brad Marsh. Two players with 190 games of playoffs, playoff experience between them. And the Red Wings are going with seven defensemen tonight. No score. Each team a man short. Here's Brown to center for the Blues. Now to Oates. Oates across the line. Had a pass knocked away by McCrimmon. And Chase on feeds it ahead. Broken up. Stevens, two outs. Lost it. And Federoff for Detroit. Back to center. Into the zone. Three on two. Federoff near the line. Makes a move. Still has it now on right wing. Federoff across the chase on. A shot. And that hit Brown and just missed the goal. And Hull behind the Blues goal. Brett Hull back to center ice. Had no shots in game six. Hull to center. Checked by Federoff. And chase on for the Red Wings in his own line. Up to Federoff. 
He has to wait for man to come on side. He does, but Stevens blocked it. And the Blues take over. No score. 13-37 left in the first period. Lowry to center ice for the Blues. In across the line to Oates. Oates on the left point. Now lost it. And it's knocked away to center ice. Butcher right back in, though. Can't get it in deep. Then chase on for the Red Wings. Up to Iserman off his skates. Cleared away by the Blues. And back is Bassett. Here's Bassett on left wing. Check. Lowry carries on. Can't center it. And Zombo for Detroit. Feeds it to Iserman. The Red Wing captain to center. Into Racine on left wing. He Racine up. Shot. And a pass saved by Riendo. And he falls on the rebound. Juggling it a little bit, but he makes the save. A lot of open ice, four on four. Now the Red Wings on a power play for another 13 seconds. Davey Tomlinson in the penalty box. Four hooking. On a power play coming into this game. Two teams together has been six for 63. The 14th and 15th. Out of 16 teams in the playoff, certainly it's been a non-factor, really, in the first six games, John. Certainly like to see it come through, maybe in game number seven for the Blues. That could be a key. Iserman, with three goals in the series, has not scored since game one. He had the hat trick in the first game. No score in this contest. The Blues short-handed here for 10 seconds as they cleared away. Racine back in his own line. Up for Carson at center ice. Now Tomlinson back on. So the brief power play is over, and the Red Wings are offside. Still scoreless here in Game 7. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Play just over seven minutes in the first period. Still no score. John, we mentioned the five changes for the Red Wings. Two of the players, Brad Marsh and Bill McDougall, not even played in this series. So I think Brian Murray is taking a chance. No score, the Red Wings dump it in from center. Riendo gloves it down. And Paul Cavalini behind the Blues goal. Up on right wing to Sutter. Gets to center. Had it knocked away. Now a loose puck grabbed by Carson back at his own line. Up ahead. Chris Sutter overskates it. Here's Probert to Iserman, but Butcher got over, knocked it away. And Mahar for the Blues breaks it up. Sutter to center ice. His long dump in. As the Blues make changes, Rick Green back for Detroit. Green, who played in the first two games, gets the center, but Bassin for the Blues turns. Back in his own line for Stevens. Here comes the Blues, Captain Stevens. For Bassin across the line, a shot. That's tipped high. Near corner. Chase after, he broke his stick. And the Red Wings control, and Bobby Dulles clears it away. Stevens at center ice. Puts it right back in. Chevrolet tried to clear to hit a broken stick. Puck ahead, held in by Brown. Right point, a shot blocked. Now Chase gets it to Brindamore. And a shot nowhere near the goal. And McKay for the Red Wings. Clears one to center ice. Brown back at the Blues line. Brown for Stevens. That center to Dan Quinn. Into the Red Wings zone. Quinn into Brindamore. Shot. Chevrolet a save. On Brindamore, as he cut in on left wing. And Marsh flips it down the ice. Brown goes back, and icing called on the Red Wings. And then Dallas bumps into Brown. No score. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. No score. 11.07 left, first period. Face off left of Shevel Day. Oates between Gino Cavallini and Brett Hull. Shots are even at three apiece so far. Puck dropped. Miller for the Red Wings gets it. Tripped up, gets the puck to the line, held in by Oates. He can't center it, and the puck worked away. Now Sean Bird just on the ice for Detroit. Long shot, a save by Riendo. And Featherstone has it for the Blues. To Merwa. Out of Featherstone, gets to center ice for Hall, too far. Puck goes down the ice, Blues are after it. And who gets to it first? The Red Wings do. So an icing call here on St. Louis. The Red Wings 
in the last two games have scored only one goal and have had only 41 shots on net. Tough to win a hockey game when that happens. Blues really playing great defense. John, their first goal and their first four victories, three victories, pardon me. Take that back. I'll redo that. They have scored the first goal in four games. All goals coming from defensemen. Freeman, Racine, Chase on, and Dallas. You said Fedorov and Eisenman have not scored a goal since game number one. The Blues doing a great job defensively. Now you can score big savings right now during Metro Lighting's spring decorating sale. Say 20 to 50% off on a huge selection of lighting fixtures at all six Metro Lighting locations. Still scoreless. Nine and a half minutes into the first period of game seven. Blues in their own zone. Hull on right wing. Rink wide for Gino Cavallini. Gets the center. Across the line. Oates is after it. Pass is in front, but Chase on broke it up. Now at center ice to shoot Chuck. In on left wing for Sean Burr. Burr can't center it. Puck behind the goal. Cleared by Stevens up on left wing to Gino Cavallini. Left the puck near the line, and it's kept in. Here's Brown behind the Blues goal. Far side for Stevens. Two outs back for Stevens. This pass to Jeff Brown. Brown, who had a goal and one assist in game six. Across the line, around a man, and a penalty called on the Blues. Well, the Detroit defender was knocked down, and a tripping call against Oates. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Adam Oates goes off for tripping at 10.08. He ran interference right at the blue line. Fans got excited as Jeff Brown walked in all alone on Sheveldale. Shovel day, but Oates took the defenseman out right at the blue line and pulled him down. That allowed Brown to go in all alone, but referee Terry Gregson makes the call. The Red Wings 0 for 1 on the power play, go on another. Although their first power play lasted all of seven seconds. Red Wings, 3 of 29 in the series. Better off the center, dumps it in. Off the boards, Butcher grabs it, can't clear it. Right point, Eiserman kept it in. Over to Racine. He missed it, and the puck comes to center. Here's Racine, a former first-round draft choice of the Red Wings. Now for Eisenman on right wing. Across center, long dump it around the boards. It goes. Sutter there. Can't clear it. Fedorov kept it in. Gets it in front. Sutter knocked it away. Now far corner. Blues try and get to it, and they do. And Stevens whacks it back to center. Racine at his own line. Pass across two lines for Iserman. And the faceoff will be back in the Red Wings end. Now well, Racine really forcing that play. Nothing else Iserman could do except to take the pass. The Blues forcing Racine on the play. Basson moving up along with Sutter to force the play. Doing a great job penalty killing. Minute and 16 left. Well, Steve Iserman, the captain of this Detroit Red Wing hockey club. He mentioned that he's not scored. He's game number one, and he has no points in the last three. And we hear reports, Bruce, that he has a very sore ankle. Sources tell us that he had an MRI done on his ankle after game five. That's right, so uh, he may be hurting a little bit. Still a good hockey player and somebody to watch, obviously. He's the leader of this hockey team. No score in the game. 9.07 left, first period, a minute 12 to go in Oates' minor. And the Red Wings go back. Fedorov and Chase on the point, man, up front. It's half shot, Eiserman and Probert. Fedorov gets to center. Four Blues are at the line. He dumps it in. Rando missed it. Probert far corner for Detroit. Probert gets it behind the goal, but Merwa there. And he'll slap it down the ice on goal. And a stick save by Shevel there. Chase on for Detroit. Up for half shot. Left it at the line for Fedorov. Gets to center. Near the line. Bump by Dave Lowry, but better off into the zone. Right wing to Probert. There's Probert on the far side. For Habshide in the corner. Habshide, bumped there by Paul Cavallini. Now Probert on right wing for Detroit. On this power play. Into the corner for Habshide. On the point to Federoff. Fakes it. Now to chase on, he missed it. And the Blues take over, and back they come. Mahar to center shorthanded. Into the zone. Now Mahar in traffic, a shot blocked. And here's Federoff back the other way. Oates getting ready to come on the ice. Now he is back on. The Blues are at full strength. Federoff to chase on. Behind the goal. 
Eiserman near corner for Detroit. Lost it, and Oates grabs it for the Blues. Oates to center ice. In traffic, in to Quinn, right in a shot. He scores! Dan Quinn! And the Blues take a 1 0 lead. That was in game number three, Bob Basson, and last game, Dave Tomlinson. They were one and one when they scored the first goal. Now the Wings get the draw, clear it down the ice. And Featherstone back for the Blues. Here's Glenn Featherstone up on left wing to Tomlinson, two outs at center. Back for Tomlinson. He'll flip it in. Here's Green behind the Red Wing goal. Up to Burr, he let it go to center. Bearwall lifts it right back in. He put it too high, though. And it goes over the glass. Quinn's goal has given the Blues a 1-0 lead. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Not one ticket left in the arena tonight. The standing room only crowd has seen Dan Quinn give the Blues a 1-0 lead. 7-10 left in the first period. Now the Blues are back in their own end. Merwa behind the goal. Plays it off the boards to center. Green for the Red Wings. Gets it ahead, but Marois there again. Long dump in off the boards. Chevalier plays it for McCrimmon. That center to Burr for Miller, broken up by Marois. And Brett Hall golfs it right back in. McCrimmon behind the goal. Left wing to Burr. Pass on right wing to shoot Chuck the rookie. He lost the puck at center. And it's fed back in the blue zone. Brown behind the goal. Clears it off the glass to center. Brad Marsh in his first action in the series. Plays it back in. Stevens far corner. And the Blues try and work out. Brown, good pass to Hall at center to Brindamore. He darts in on left wing. But Zombo took him out. And Zombo behind his net. Makes a move, left wing to Primo, the rookie. At center ice now for Iserman, or rather McKay. He gets it behind the goal. And Stevens is there for the Blues. Two Oates. Oates ahead. Left it for Hall. Fakes it. Lost it. And the puck cleared away. Stevens now to Jeff Brown. He'll play it back into the Red Wings zone. That's the Blues. Game plan. Get the puck in deep at Forchuk. But this time the Red Wings come back. Here's Primo ahead. Into the zone. Left wing for Iserman. Stop. Centers it. McKay missed it. Now a shot by McKay and Rando stepped that aside. Heiserman in the slot to McKay. Now to the corner. Bumped by Paul Cavallini and Butcher there. Gets it on right wing for Sutter. He clears it away. Blues ahead, 1-0. Now Sutter at his own line for the Blues. Makes a move. Up for Lowry. He was checked by Probert. They battle for it. Basson comes in. Hits Carson. And it goes back to the Red Wings. Claire Dallas to Racine. Meanwhile, Lowry and Probert have words. Puck in the blue zone. Paul Cavalier there. And he clears it back to center. Now Racine a pass. Intercepted by Butcher. There's Butcher at center ice. Carries it in. Now shoots it in behind the goal. Less than five minutes left first period. The Blues lead 1-0. Probert back to center for Detroit. Into Iserman. Takes a shot. It's tipped by Brown. And that goes 15 rows back. 1-0 St. Louis. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Blue 
Blues lead it one nothing on Dan Quinn's third goal of the series. 4.40 remain in the first period. Shots are all knotted up at five apiece. Now the Red Wings at center ice. Chase on, drifts one in there. Jeff Brown back to the Blues near corner. Pass to center for Brindamore with Quinn and Chase. Now Stevens back in his own zone. Brown fell down. Miller after it. Trying to center, but Brown on his knees knocked it away. Now behind the goal. Half shy, far corner. Check by Stevens, a big check into the boards. Red Wings get the puck. Primo, left point to chase on, a shot, and a blocker saved by Riendo. Quinn behind the goal. Far side. Brindamore gets it ahead to Stevens. At center for Kelly Chase. Then he'll clear it in. Chevrolet out of the goal, left it there for Zombo. On right wing to McCrimmon. Long dump in. Butcher back there. Good play to get it ahead to Mahar. Now to Paul Cavallini at center ice. Into the zone. Here's Paul Cavallini on right wing. A shot. That's off a of leg and it never got through. And Sean Burr flips it down the ice. Blues go back. Riendo plays it up on right wing. Held in by Marsh, a shot, and a pass saved by Riendo with his left leg, and Tomlinson there to tip it by Green, and it goes down the ice. 3.20 left in the opening period. The Blues have a one nothing lead. Marsh to center ice for Detroit. Shoots it in behind the goal near corner. Marsh is there, but Fedorov on the board. Back to Marsh, left point. A shot, and Basson blocked back, and it's off his leg down the ice. Here's Green back for Detroit. Takes a check from Basson, clears it away. Now Mirawa at his own line. Left wing to Lowry. He comes in on left wing. Lowry to the corner. Bumped by Green. Basson is there for the Blues. So is Marsh, and they hold it for a stoppage in play. One nothing Blues here in game seven. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Painting in the first period. Like to say hello to Ed Owen, and Art Johnson, who are in Mount Vernon, cheering the Blues on tonight. And a special birthday hello to Irene Diger, who's 87 years young tonight, maybe the oldest, truest Blues fan around, and she's watching tonight. Happy birthday to Irene Diger. What a, what a present that would be. Happy birthday, Irene. Blues lead 1-0, face off right of Shovel Day. Bassett on the draw against Iserman. Eiserman gets it, now Dallas clears it behind his net. Puck fed ahead by Chase on to center. Butcher right there. He'll lift it back in. Then Dallas behind the Red Wings goal, and then Eiserman knocks Butcher down at center. Red Wings come back. Butcher is all right. Play goes on. Chase on, shoots it in. Now behind the Blues goal. Riendo lost it, but Paul Cavalini there to knock it away. Far corner. Paul Cavani knocks down a red wing. That's Carson. Puck ahead to Lowry on left wing. And he clears it away. And the Blues setter trying to clear it in. Picked up by Eiserman at his own line. He's got some room in on right wing. Makes a move. Goes in wide. Eiserman far corner. To Carson, a shot. A little flutter shot. And Riendo holds on. And now Butcher and Probert go down. Boy, that Butcher's had an ongoing war with Bob Probert. John Eiserman speared Butcher right at center ice. He looked around, Eiserman looked for the referee, saw he wasn't looking, turned around and speared Butcher right in the midsection. Fortunately, Butcher's okay. I thought the linesman saw it, he stuck his hand up, but it was a delayed offside. But it was very obvious, and then Probert, in doing some great forechecking, was taken out by Butcher, almost ran into Riendo. Play continues, obviously. Blues lead at one nothing with a minute and 46 remaining. We've only had three penalties in the game tonight. No power play goals, but Quinn from Oates is the difference in the game so far. Wings get the draw, Racine a shot. That's wide. Behind the goal, Brown there. Up the boards. Racine kept it in. Near corner. Shuchuk centers it, but it's taken by the Blues. Stevens behind his net. Knocked down, Burr for Detroit. Can't center it. Now Fedorov on right wing. Fedorov in traffic, lost it. And Tomlinson feeds Hall. He gets to center. Lost it. Now Stevens carries ahead. 
Pass to Hall, tipped in there, but cleared by Bird to center ice. Now Brown near the Red Wing bench. He's bumped off the puck, Racine for the Red Wings to fetter off. He comes in on left wing. Into the corner now, knocked down by Jeff Brown. Hall lost it though. A minute left in the period. Puck sent behind the Blues goal. Sean Burr can't center it. And then Fedorov knocks Brown down. And the Blues clear it. And we will get at least one penalty, maybe more, as Fedorov really attacked Brown from behind. Well, the Detroit Red Wings trying to pick it up physically. Fedorov was taken out along the boards by Jeff Brown. Before that, Burr and Stevens were getting into it, pushing and shoving in front of the net. But it was back in the corner where Brown and Fedorov were going after each other. Fedorov's helmet had come off and had come down in the front of his chest instead of going off backwards. Then he just attacked Jeff Brown from behind. I believe that's where the penalty is initiated. It only comes with 50 seconds remaining in the first period. The Russian player, Sergei Fedorov, Showing some emotion there. Federal gets moves off for roughing. 19-10. The cross checking, I'm sorry, not roughing. The Blues will go on their second power play. They're 0 for 1. The lone goal coming from Dan Quinn. John, we have not seen Sergei Fedorov show that much emotion. I don't think in the series. We've seen him pick it up a little bit. The Soviet players certainly showed a lot there coming after Jeff Brown. Well, maybe he showed too much emotion. Well, I think he certainly did, especially in a game seven. The Blues go on the power play. Get even next year. Blues 0 for 1 in the power play, leading 1-0. A goal here would be huge. 40 seconds left in the period. The Blues are back in their own end. Here's Oates. Up on right wing to Brown. Gets to center. Into Brindamore. But it's offside at the... Detroit line, I think Quinn was offside on the right wing side. Oh, speaking of physical play, since 1987, there have been 16 seventh game series. Seven game series. In the 16 seventh game, there's only been one fight. That was last year, Glenn Featherstone and Greg Gilbert in the Chicago Blackhawks. That's pretty amazing, but it also shows you how important game number seven is, obviously, and how the teams really play. And the home team is 13 and three in those 16 seventh games, including 1-0 this year. Pittsburgh won last night, 4-0, and the home team was 4-0 last year in the seventh game. That's right, one other seventh game, that's tonight. Edmonton will be at Calgary. That game begins in about 20 minutes. Now Brown behind the Blues goal. 20 seconds left in the period. The Blues in a power play, they'll have to hurry here. Brown to center, across the line, makes a move. Now to Brindamore, lost it, and the puck cleared away, and that will about do it. As the Blues go back, here's Oates trying to clear it. He does. Three seconds left. Brindamore has it, but time runs out here in the first period. So the Blues get the only goal by Dan Quinn at 12-24. And after 20 minutes here in Game 7, the Blues lead 1-0. We'll go back to the game, the second period, again with uh, yours truly along with Bruce Affleck. Blues will send out Dan Quinn, Brett Hall, Dave Tomlinson up front, Adam Oates and Jeff Brown, two right-handed shots on the point. Tomlinson had 53 goals in Peoria. He had the game winner the other night. He has played well in the two previous games since being called up from Peoria. I'll tell you about the second period. Here's John Kelly. Thank you, Bruce. Here we go. The Blues go from our right to left. At center, Quinn lost it, but Brown gets it to Hall on left wing. Dropped it back in Miller there for Detroit. Here's Kevin Miller across the line. Let's a shot go, and Oates blocked that. And the Blues control. Quinn at center for Tomlinson. Left wing to Hull. Can't get to it. Now the puck at center. Jeff Brown knocked it down. Back in across the line. A pass to Hull tipped away. And the puck shot to center. Here's Oates for Hull on right wing. Knocks down a rolling puck. Back to Oates. Near side for Jeff Brown. Blues in a power play. Now they dump it in. Near corner. Quinn gets to it. In deep for Tomlinson. On left wing for Hall. Hall works in. A shot. That was blocked by McCrimmon. 
And it's cleared down the ice by Miller. Now eight seconds left on the power play. Oates to Brown. That's offside at the red line at two line pass. And Bruce on that power play looked like the Blues were trying to get too cute in carrying the puck in. I think you're right, John. You can even strength back in the first. There was a couple times where they were getting too cute at the blue line. You certainly don't want to do that in game seven. Power play just working in. You have to dump it in. They haven't even had a shot on net on this power play. Best chance they had was Brett Hall coming in to take the shot, and it was blocked. And still five seconds remaining on Fedorov's penalty. Face off to be directly in front of Vincent Riendo at the top of the circles. Tough spot. Very big face off here. The Red Wings down a man. Bob Bassett would certainly like to win this face off. Against Eiserman. Eiserman gets it back though for Zombo. Left point. Gets it in deep. And now Fedorov back on the ice. Red Wings are at full strength. And the Blues center. That center for Bassett. Dumps it in. Lowry after it. Lowry gets two and a shot. Save rebound and Bassett is stopped by Chevalier. Now Sutter, right point to Butcher. His shot. That's stopped by Chevalier in the rebound to center ice. Eiserman in on right wing. Hooked at. Knocked down. A penalty called on Butcher. He got his stick up on Eiserman. And Butcher will go to the box. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Steve Eiserman speared Garth Butcher back in the first period. There was no call on the play. Butcher this time gets his stick up high on Eiserman. And he gets called by referee Terry Gregson for a high stick at 136 of the second period. The Red Wings will go on the power play. They are 0 for 2 on the power play, but right along the left wing boards, Butcher takes out Eiserman. The call is made. A chance for the Red Wings to get back into it. Red Wings had only one shot on four power plays. In game six, and now off the draw, Merwa falls down. Really, the Red Wings have struggled on the power play, Bruce, in the last couple of years, not just this year. You know, and it's surprising when you look at the talent they have, the individual talent, and Fedorov and Eiserman, players like that, Chase on on the point. Of course, he missed a lot of the season. You'd think their power play would be better, but it hasn't been. Face off, right of Riendo. The Blues control the draw, and Scott Stevens in the corner. Clears it ahead, and Lowry tips it down the ice. Lowry up front with Mahar. Stevens and Nerwa back on defense. Blues lead 1-0. They're shorthanded. Chase on for Detroit. He gets to the red line, shoots it in. Behind the goal, Riendo left it there. Nerwa clears it ahead, held in by Racine. Fakes it. Now right point, Chase on, a shot. Blocker save, Riendo. And Stevens poked the rebound in the corner. Fedorov gets it. Now in front, Probert back on the point. Fedorov to chase on. A shot, and Stevens blocked that. And it goes over the glass. Another big block by Scott Stevens. Well, John, I've been keeping track of the block shots. That's the fifth block shot that I would classify as a shot going towards the net. Paul Cavallini talked about it in the intermission. But Scott Stevens throwing his body in front of any shot, and that's what he did there. And he gets the puck up into the crowd. Even better, a face-off. Time for the Blues to make a change. 113 left on the penalty to Garth Butcher. Blues have five players out there right now. Now Mario Marois will go off. He did a good job on Eisenman in front of that net. That shot coming from the point from Racine. And we'll have another face-off in the Blues' zone. Blues up 1-0. Red Wings in a power play. For another one minute and 13 seconds. Eisenman, Miller, and Fedorov up front. Racine and Chase on the point. Mid. Red Wings get the draw. Right point, Chase on. Now to Fedorov. Back for Chase on. Over on the wing. A shot by Eisenman. Off the goal. And the Blues, Paul Cavalini, clears it away. Now Racine at his own line. To Chase on. Has three goals in the series. Dumps it in. Near corner, Eisenman gets it. Behind the goal to Miller, far side to Fedorov. Back to Miller behind the Blues goal. Gave it away, and Paul Cavallini backhands it very high and down the ice. Now 35 seconds left in Butcher's minor. Red Wings back in. Here's Miller on left wing. Kevin Miller sets up on the wing. 
lost it. Now it goes behind the goal. Eisenman knocked down. Puck loose on the far side. Fedorov is there. In traffic. Back on the point. Chase on. Now to Fedorov. Right point. Racine. A shot. Blocked another drive. And they score. Racine from the right point. Ties the game. A power play goal. Well, I don't believe Rando even saw that shot. Red Wings tie it up on the power play. They moved the puck around very well. Basson ended up going down to block the shot. They came right back to Racine. First shot is blocked by Basson. It comes right back to Racine. He lets go of the shot. There's Basson, Brown, and Iserman in front of the net. Vince Rando wasn't in a very good position either to go down, but he went down to try and look through the cow. Racine gets his second goal of the series. It's a power play goal for Racine. He ties the game up. Now one apiece. Better off and chase on, get the assists. And it's 1-1. Now the Blues back in their own end. Here's Glenn Featherstone. Pass, knocked down. Shoot truck centers it, but the Blues steal it. Back comes Brett Hall. Hall to center ice. Makes a move. Puck rolls off his stick, though. And the Red Wings clear it back to center. Featherstone at his own line. Barrett on the fence with Merwa to Merwa. Back to Featherstone. Pass ahead. Off a of Red Wing down the ice. And the Kerman for Detroit in behind his goal. Now a pass on right wing. Carson there. Flips it ahead. And Bird gets it to Carson. One man back. Here's Carson across the line. A shot and Butcher dives the cross and tips it well into the crowd. It's 1-1. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. <laughs> 22-year-old Yves Racine, number one draft choice back in 87, has tied it up with his second goal of the playoffs. The power play goal came at 324. Quinn having the Blues goal, face off in the blue zone. Eisenman, Carson, and Probert up front. The Blues tip at the center, though. And Green back in his own line. Up to Probert. Lost, but in center, flips it in. Shevelde behind the goal. A pass on the boards. Carson is there. Missed the check. Paul Cavalini trying to hold it in. He does. Here's Cavalini, works in. Into the corner for Bassett. Tied up by Zombo. Now Sutter in there. Digs it free. Center behind the goal. In front, Butcher missed it. The pass too high, and it rolls into the blue zone. Paul Cavalini with Eisenman on him. Around the boards to Butcher, and he'll tip it back to center. It's 1-1, five minutes into the second period. Now McCrimmon feeds it in. Buck behind the goal. Rando plays it far side. Marsh pinched in, but the Blues control it. And here's Rick Sutter on right wing. Near side to Paul Cavallini. Up the boards to Brindamore, gets one to center, but McCrimmon right there plays it back in. Paul Cavallini behind the goal again. Blues trying to get something going here in a 1-1 game in game seven. Now Bassett on left wing to center ice. Tripped up by Primo, and he falls on the puck. And another faceoff at center ice. Now momentum's switching a little bit to the Red Wings. Blues not playing the way they did in the first period, that's for sure. You can score big savings right now during Metro Lighting's spring decorating sale. Save 20 to 50% on a huge selection of lighting fixtures at all six Metro Lighting locations. Well, that goal by Racine ties the game in a power play at 324. The goal ends a long shutout sequence by Riendo. It ends after 141 minutes and 12 seconds. About five minutes shy of the Blues Club record for longest shutout sequence held by Jacques Plante back in 1969. Now off the draw, the Blues at center ice. Marawa shoots it back in. Buck around the boards, left point. Featherstone a shot, blocked. Miller trying to clear it. Held in again by Featherstone. Now chase on for Detroit. To Miller, plays one of the Blues line. Marawa there. Now to chase on right wing. This pass, knocked down, but Merwa grabs it. Whips it off the boards to center. Racine nearly lost it. Now a pass across two lines. And McKay was offside. And now he pushes at Featherstone. And
And then Chase comes in. Well, McKay was very involved in game five. He had 20 mi 29 minutes and penalties in that fifth game. He definitely was involved. He's at the 39 on the series. Going to give a little extra shot to Glenn Featherstone. Featherstone just said, I'm not going to do anything here. Too big a game. Certainly is tied up at one. And I guess this is what you would expect or want from a seventh game if you're a hockey fan. Tight checking. That's what it certainly come down here in this period. It was a little more wide open at the beginning of the game, more in the Blues' favor. Detroit has come back to tie it up. Talked about the power play being a non-factor in the early games. It certainly could be in this game as Detroit has tied it up on the power play. Now off the draw, the Red Wings behind their goal. Dallas back there. Both between Gino Cavallini and Hull. Dallas to McTrimmon up on right wing to shoot Chuck, the rookie. Off Fedorov's leg and down the ice. And Brown back for the Blues. Near side to Stevens, up to Gino Cavallini. And Gino gets to center ice. Long dump in on goal. Shovel Day left it back there for Burr. Around the boards it goes. Stevens left point. Held it in with one hand. Now Oates on the boards. Lost it. And the puck cleared away by McCrimmon. Jeff Brown at center ice. Wax it back in. McCrimmon gets it in behind his own goal. McCrimmon up the boards. And Burr clears it away. Here's Brown at center ice to Gino Cavallini. He'll dump it in again. Chevrolet clears it on the board. Hull is there. Far corner. Now two outs. Back on the point. Broken up. And Shuchuk tipped it back to center. 12.42 left second period. 1-1 the score. Blues clear it in again. Dallas. Up on left wing for Burr. His job is to shadow Brett Hull. Burr to center ice. Into the zone. Plays it to the near corner. Lowry back first for St. Louis. And Lowry, a right wing pass. Tipped to center by Brown. And played right back in. Brown behind the Blues goal. In traffic, gets it ahead. At center ice to Lowry. Here's Lowry across the line. Trying to work in. Green knocked it away. Now they center one. And Carson blocked the pass. Blues keep it in. Lowry with some good work. And Zombo there to shoot it off the boards and down the ice. And Butcher goes back. And icing coming up here on the Red Wings. It's 1-1 midway through Game 7. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. John, both these teams feeling the tension of Game Number 7, playing very tight. Not been much fluid motion to this second period. Very choppy, a lot of missed passes. A lot of dump ins. I guess you'd expect that again for game seven. Shots only 9 8 in favor of Detroit. Not many chances at all. Now the draw in the Red Wing zone. Near side, half side, bumped by Quinn. He has the Blues goal. Racine has scored for Detroit. Now Brindamore steals it. Gets it in front, tipped away by Chevalier. And then Kimball bumps Primo, but the puck flipped ahead by Miller. Featherstone at his own line to Marowa. To Kimball. He missed it. And it goes down the ice, and Marsh, racing back, touches it. And an icing call here on the Blues. Well, would like to wish a speedy recovery from Jewish Hospital to Nick Tarpa. He just got by a quadruple bypass surgery procedure, and we certainly wish big Blues fan Nick Tarpa a speedy recovery. Game number seven here, all tied up at one apiece. 11.25 remaining in the second period. Goal scorers, Dan Quinn in the first. Eves were seen for Detroit in the second. Face off right of Riendo. Miller on the draw against Mahar. Mahar gets it. Into the corner, Brown is there. Mahar around the boards, left wing to Gino Cavallini. Here's Gino out to center ice. Shoots it in. Chase after it. Bumps Racine to the boards. Puck free to Gino Cavallini. Takes a hit. Now the Blues work it free. Mahar to Gino in the corner. Trying to what? Muscle in front. Knocked down by Miller. Nothing called. And McKay to center ice. Now for the rookie McDougal in his first playoff game. Chase on a long shot. A glove saved by Riendo. And Stevens sets up behind the Blues goal. To Brown. Back to Stevens at center ice. Too far for Mahar. Blues passing not very sharp here. The Red Wings shoot it in, but 
Stevens, a good pass to Oates at center. In across the line, Oates on right wing. Henry Seen took him off the puck. Now Oates centers it. Stevens, a shot, and he put it over the net. A great setup by Oates. Gino Cavallini, a big check in the near corner. Three blues are there. Oates gets it behind the goal. Can't center it. Puck cleared. Held in by Brown. But now the wings work it away. Oates to Brown. In on right wing. But Chase on is there to slap it down the ice. And Riendo a glove save. Exactly 10 minutes left in the second period. It's 1-1 here in game seven. Blues back to center. Tomlinson had it roll over his stick. McCrimmon for Detroit to Federoff. Up to Burr. He'll flip it in. And Riendo left it back there for Paul Cavallini. Over to Brown at center ice to Hall. To Paul Cavallini back to Brett Hall. He comes in on right way. Makes a move. Beats a man. A shot. And a save by Chevalier. Paul Cavallini a drive. Another save by Chevalier. Hopes trying to center it. Paul Cavallini left point. Can't hold it in. And the puck cleared away. Up over the glass. It's still tied at one. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. It's tied at one. Now Basson out between Lowry and Sutter against Eiserman, Probert, and Carson. Blues get the draw, clear it behind the Red Wing goal. Now it's sent to the far side. Right point, Butcher gets it. Butcher a shot, and Basson tipped it just wide. Now Basson near corner. Behind the goal, Bassett, right point to Butcher, lets it go, and a stick save again by Chevalier. Left point, Paul Cavallini, that shot blocked. Now Lowry after, but Probert gets to it, and he works at the center ice to Eisenman to Carson, into the zone, and it rolls off his stick to the corner. And the Blues, Paul Cavallini, a big hit on Carson, and back is Sutter, three on two. Sutter in at right wing, delayed penalty. Sutter can't center it. And the Red Wings get it. And a penalty called on Detroit. And the Blues will get a power play in a 1-1 game. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Captain of the Detroit Red Wings, Steve Eiserman goes off. High sticking call at 11-19 as he got his stick up on Garth Butcher. That dude starts back in the first period. Paul Cavallini, some good back checking there, and same with Rich Sutter, who gets the puck up. Butcher's gonna try and run a little interference, and Eiserman gets his stick up Butcher's chest area. Larry Gregson, and the referee calls it. Both teams have had three penalties now, pretty even up in that side. Blues go on the power play. Draw in the zone, Hall back to Brown, right point for Oates. Let's it go! That's blocked now, Jeff Brown, a rocket! Right on, a save by Chevrolet, rebound! And Quinn is robbed by Shovel Day. And he holds on. Oh, what a chance there for Dan Quinn. Great chance. Shovel Day makes a fantastic save, the save of the game so far. Quinn was all alone. Shovel Day makes the first save on Brown. The puck will go to his left. Quinn's there, he takes the shot. He just didn't get it up high enough over the fallen Shovel Day. Those are the ones you want to put right underneath the crossbar, but some good work by the Blues. Three Blues players, Brett Hall, Rod Brennamore, and Dan Quinn down low, John. You mentioned before we came back to the power play, you'd like to see the Blues shooting. That's what they did, and they've had their best opportunity on the power play. 1-1 the score. Eight and a half minutes left, second period. Blues in a power play. Better off on the draw against Quinn. Blues get it right point. Here's Oates. Adam Oates. Right wing side to Quinn. A shot saved by Chevalier. Rebound cleared by the Red Wings. Not out. Oates kept it in to Hall. Centers it. Miller blocked it, though. Can't clear it. Brindamore stole it. Now to Quinn on right wing. Back to Jeff Brown, right point. Right wing to Quinn. Into the corner for Brindamore. To Quinn on right wing. Back on the point for Brown. To Quinn, back to Brown. Now for Oates. To Brown. Now to Quinn, a rocket, oh, a glove save by Chevalier. And it's off the glass and into the crowd. What a beating Hall took in front of the goal. But he kept his ground. Hall's helmet ended up coming off as Zombo was in front along with McCrimmon. Zombo doing most of the heavy work. 
Oh, not used to standing in front, but he does a great job. Zombo slashing at him, Brandemore also. Chevalier in there taking a shot, and Hall takes a punch from the back of the head from Zombo. No call on the play. Now we're saying that the faceoff is out in the neutral zone. I thought it went off Chevalier. Plus to hit the crossbar. Well, good call, John Kelly. A shot from Dan Quinn. Almost, but not good enough. It's still tied at one. A minute ten to go in the Blues power play. 7.45 left second period. Blues clear it in. Get it behind the goal. Quinn is there. Now four players converge. Blues, Tomlinson digs it free to Quinn. Quinn, right point, two outs to Hall, a shot! That just missed the goal, and Dallas is there. Can't clear it, Oates kept it in. Here's Oates, right wing side to Quinn. Two outs, a shot, block in front. Puck loose there, and cleared by the Red Wings, back to center. Now 30 seconds left in Iserman's minor. Blues are back on a power play. Here's Oates back to center ice. Oates across the line on right wing. Gets to the corner. Now Tomlinson there. Right point to Jeff Brown. To Stevens. Over to Hall on left wing. Hall lost it. Gets it back. Turns. Centers it. Oates in the far corner. Here's Oates. Right point to Brown. A drive and a pad save by Chevalier. And shoot Chuck for Detroit with Eisenman back on. And the Red Wings clear it in. They're back at full strength. And we're still tied at one. Now Stevens near corner behind the goal to Jeff Brown. Brown in his own zone to Stevens on left wing. That's center ice to Lowry. Off Oates' stick. And back is Eisenman. Into the zone. A shot. And Brown blocked that. And the Blues Lowry feeds it back to center ice. Well, that penalty kill by the wing should give them a lift. Brown in front of his net. Left wing to Lowry. Stevens can't clear it by Carson. Now Stevens behind the goal. Hooked down by Carson, but Basson there on right wing. Basson kicks it ahead. Not out. Eisenman kept it in. Now right point to Zombo. A shot. That's blocked. Blues can't clear it again. Now they finally do. Here's Basson to Hall. And he's knocked down by Racine. Hall kept it in, though. Here's Hall on right wing. Into the slot. Backhander, and that goes wide. Basson gets it. Basson a shot. That's tipped by a Red Wing. Up over the glass. And play call. Furious action here in game seven. It's 1-1. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Now Steve Eisenman had the penalty, and then... Red Wings do a good job of killing the Blues power play, but they had some great opportunity. Tim Chevalier, John, has made some great saves. It's still 1-1. Face off left of Chevalier. The Wings get the draw, though, and McCrimmon to center ice. Flips it in. And back is Paul Cavallini for the Blues. Near corner. Turn. Shoots it back to center. And Marsh at his own line. Over to McCrimmon. Now ahead to McDougal. Gets it to the Blues line, broken up by Paul Cavallini and Chase. He'll shoot it in deep. Chevalier left it for McCrimmon, right in front of his net. Now to McKay on left wing. He's playing his off wing here. He whacks it off the boards, down the ice. Butcher back. And again, icing coming up here on the Red Wings with just under five minutes left in the second. Blues one, Red Wings one. Under five minutes remaining in the second period. Blues seem to have picked it up a little bit here, but Tim Chevalier, John, has been really the story, I think, in this period. He made some great saves, especially when the Blues were on the power play. We saw it in the early games of this series. He kept the Red Wings in a number of times. He's done that here in the middle part towards the end of the second period. Wings get the draw again. Just under five minutes left, second period. Red Wings tip at the center ice. Jeff Brown. At the red line for Stevens. Shoots it in off Sutter. And then the play was offside. Sutter was in offside, and then Gino Cavalini got the puck. And had a stoppage in play. Well, the Blues have outshot the Wings, as you mentioned, 12 4 in this period, but Detroit has the only goal. And it was Eves Racine back. Detroit had the power play at 324 of the second period. 
Better off and chase on getting the assists. Win the lone goal for the Blues. That was from Adam Oates back at 12:24 of the first period. An early score in Calgary. Calgary has a one nothing lead over the Edmonton Oilers. That game in the first period. They stayed alive with an overtime goal by Theo Fleury. Back in game number six on a Mark Messier giveaway, Fleury came in on the breakaway and scored on goaltender Mike Vernon. So two game sevens tonight. Now the Blues. That center, Paul Cavalini, bumps Carson. Here's Lowry on left wing. Can't get it in across the line. And McCrimmon plays it to the Blues line. Paul Cavalini there. Wax it off the glass to center. Chase on for the Red Wings. Into Carson, but Eiserman still in the blue zone offside. 1-1 one, one the score. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Second, John, I said Theo Fleury scored on Mike Vernon. That's his own goaltender. He scored on Grant Fuhrer, the Edmonton Oilers, to tie that series up at three apiece. Calgary still though, one nothing in the first period in Calgary. Here it's 1-1, 4-15 to go, second period. Red Wings clear it to center. Iserman into Probert on left wing. To the corner. Now behind the Blues, goal. Iserman there. Centers it, but the Blues, Bassin breaks it up. Bassin ahead. Just flips it in deep. That's the Blues game plan. Green behind the goal. Checked by Sutter. Puck cleared ahead to Zombo on right way. Rick Zombo negotiates his way to center ice. Long shot. Off the boards in front. But no one there in the Blues. Lowry grabs it. Here's Lowry back to center ice. Into the zone to Brett Hall. Hall on right way. Hall takes a shot. Tipped by McCrimmon. Off the glass. Cleared by the Red Wings, and it goes to center ice. We welcome you, who are listening to Cardinal Baseball on Cable X. Here in St. Louis, it's 1-1, 3.20 left. In the second, Blues work in now. Brown across the line. Lost it. Hall gets it. Shoots it in behind the goal. But better off there for Detroit. Up to Burr on left wing. Now it's center ice. Better off for Shuchuk. He'll tip it in. Better off after it. But he can't get to the loose puck, and Stevens there. On right wing, two Oates. Blues are back to center, four on three. Brown to Tomlinson across the line. Now to Jeff Brown, works in. His centering pass tipped away by Shuchuk. And the Red Wings fetter off to center ice. Into the blue zone. Fetter off in front. A shot, Stevens blocked that rebound. And it cleared just wide by Fetter off. And the Blues, Tomlinson on left wing. That's center ice to Hall. Hall on right wing, can't get to it. And the puck cleared away. Stevens at his own line to Brenda Moore. Turned it over, but Merwa there. Now ahead for Oates. Oates in on left wing. Shoots it behind the goal. 2.15 to go, second period. It's 1-1 here in game seven. Back on the Red Wings. Primo in on left wing. Primo on the far side to Miller behind the goal, centers it, and Mirawa knocked it away, can't clear it, Primo shot blocked by the Blues defense, and Quinn ahead to Brindamore at center. Can't work in, Primo fell down, and Mario Mirawa golfs it down the ice, Red Wings back chase on near side, behind his goal to Racine, up on left wing, Primo, now to Miller, to the Blues line, high shot cut by Riendo, Chase behind the goal, left it for Glenn Featherstone. Up on left wing to Brindamore. He skates the center. In on the left wing side, do a bad angle, a shot. Chevrolet handled that one easily. Behind the goal, Sutter there. Rick Sutter, far side, can't center it. That Probert clears it away. Here's Bass in that center. Shot the puck right over the boards. And it nearly hit Blues coach Brian Sutter. Quinn scored in the first period for the Blues. Racine tied it in the second on a power play for the Red Wings. Now the Wings flip it in. Near corner, Eiserman gets to it. In behind the goal. Eiserman can't center it. Knocked down. A minute left in the period. Probert behind the Blues goal. Fights off a check from Butcher. Probert still after it. Left it there for McDougal. Behind the goal. He lost it. Sutter now. On the far side, 
Bumps Probert and Paul Cavalini backhands it down the ice. It's on net. There's no icing. Here's McCrimmon for Detroit in his own zone. That center had it knocked away. Gino Cavalini can't find Oates open. Probert back in on left wing. Lost it. Here's Oates. A great pass to Hall. He's got a break on right wing and alone a shot. He scores! Brad Hall! And the Bulls lead 2-1. He's done it again. former Blues defenseman Bruce Affleck. Game number seven. Jam-packed arena here on Oakland Avenue. John Kelly and Bruce Affleck bringing you the action. That's what it has certainly been. All action and Brett Hall's goal of 21 seconds remaining. Given the Blues that 2-1 lead. Team line up for the third period. John Kelly will bring all the action. All right, boss, here we go. Blues go from our left to right. Here in the third period. Blues lead 2-1, they clear it in. Puck in behind the Red Wing goal, cleared by Dallas to center ice. Now the little Blues line, better off there. In traffic, Hall knocked it away. And Hall back to center ice. Long drive, that goes wide. Now the puck behind the Red Wing goal, poked away, Hall centers it, knocked away, Hall again behind the goal. Here's Hall on right wing, to Oates, Oates trying to walk in front, he does, backhander, and Chevrolet blocked that, Oates on left wing. Here's Oates, left point to Stevens, that shot, knocked down in front of the Red Wings, Shuchuk gets the puck. He lost it, Blues get it, here's Oates in the slot, doesn't shoot it, now to Lowry, a shot! Chevrolet a save, and it goes high over the net. Now Brown kept it in right point. Behind the goal, Lowry lost it. And the Crimin for Detroit. Clears the puck to center ice for Shuchuk. To the line, that a fetter off. Right wing to Shuchuk, a shot off the side of the Blues goal. And now the puck cleared over the boards, and it goes out of play. By the minute and 32, the third period, Blues have had a couple of great opportunities. Chevrolet makes a great save on Dave Lowry. Blues 18,635 on hand tonight. On a chicken left. Blues are giving them a lot to cheer about with a 2-1 lead. We saw some action before Dave Lowry trying to go high glove side on Chevrolet and he gets a piece of it. We're back in the blue zone now with a face off to the left of Vincent Riendo. The key face off here. Off the draw, Green behind the Blues goal. Riendo knocked it away, he lost his goal stick. Now he gets it back and the Blues to center. Paul Cavani across the line, in the slot, a shot, save rebound, center shoots, he scores!
Rich Sutter will come in, take the rebound, and put it over the fallen Tim Chevelday. And Rich Sutter's second goal of the series gives the Blues a big, big three to one lead. Goal comes at 159 of the third period. Rich Sutter's second goal of the series. What a big goal. They say, go to the net, go to the net. Paul McLean has said that many times. That's how long he stayed in the league by going to the net. Rich Sutter does it and gets the biggest goal maybe of his career. What a big goal that is. Lowry and Paul Kevin, he get the assists on Sutter's second. Now the Red Wings in their own zone. Zombo far corner. Up the boards. Carson a pass ahead. Probert gets it, checked by Sutter. And Zombo for Detroit into Carson. It's offside at the line. Now Bob Probert comes in. Throws a punch of Rich Sutter. Eric Butcher steps in. Blues lead at 3-1. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Blues lead 3-1. 17-23 left in regulation time. Now the Red Wings to center. Miller across the line. Miller drop pass, chase on. He'll shoot the puck to the corner, but Merwa for the Blues behind his goal. Left wing to Brindamore. Long right wing feed to Gino Cavalini across the line. Big Gino to the near corner. A shot! And a stick save by Chevalier. Held in by Featherstone. But he poked it too high, and it goes over the glass in the corner. And now we have some pushing by the rookie Primo. They give the shot to Glenn Featherstone. I'm sure Brian Murray doesn't want his team taking a penalty here. Now Rich Sutter giving the Blues a 3-1 lead. Just before that, Riendo made a great poke check, lost his stick. That allowed the Sutter to come up the ice, and he fed Paul Cavallini. Cavallini carries it across the blue line, but he's going to cut to the middle. Everybody's going to go to the middle. He ends up taking the shot. Dave Lowry's in front of the net. Chevalier makes the save, but Sutter comes in for the rebound. Nobody picks up Rich Sutter. The trailer on the play. How often is the trailer the key guy? He certainly was that time. And Rich Sutter getting the big goal to give the Blues a 3-1 lead. You cannot emphasize enough how huge that goal is. And a great play by really all three players, Cavallini, Lowry, and Sutter. That's right. Great job by all of them. That is probably Sutter's biggest goal of his career. 3-1 Blues. Just past the three-minute mark in the third period. Blues cleared in. Now behind the goal, the Red Wings are trimming up on right wing. But Dougal can't get it out. Held in. Pass it behind the goal. Wrap around. And shovel last save. And where's the puck? It's covered. And then Marsh levels Bassett. Now Lowry shoves with McDougal. Bill McDougal, this is his first game. Now McKay comes in and shoves it. Rich Sutter. Oh, really, this is what the Blues want. Detroit to take a whole bunch of penalties. Maybe they feel they've lost it already. There's a long time left. 16-42 in the third period, though. The referee on both lines been in there trying to break it up. Well, John, this Billy McDougal is quite a story. He's a 24-year-old. Mississauga last year he played most of the year in the area of the East Coast Hockey League. And now he's in the NHL. And the Blues lead at 3-1. We'll have penalties here. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Now Bob Basson from the Blues and Randy McKay get roughing calls. Basson does a good job coming out from behind the net trying to stop it past goaltender Chevalier. And then it all starts with Marsh pushing Bob Basson. And that's when everything starts. McKay and Basson get into it. They both go off for roughing. Coincidental minors, so the teams will be at full strength. Face off in the Detroit zone. 3-1 the Blues lead. Red Wings get the draw around the boards, and Butcher can't hold it in. Now Butcher back at center ice. Takes a check, gets it to center. Now for Butcher to Lowry. He'll backhand it in. Chase on for the Red Wings. Up on right wing to Miller. Through the middle of Fedorov. Lost it. And the Blues control. Rick Sutter. Pass ahead. Tipped away. 
Chase on for the Red Wings. Now to Racine. Back in deep for Chase on. To Racine. Over his step. And Hulk chucked it in behind the goal. Red Wings desperately need some offense here. Down 3-1. Racine a long pass. Out of Miller's reach. Now he gets it behind the goal. Centers it. Better off there. Here's Fetter off on right wing, back on the point to chase on. Let's it go, right on. Hot save, Riendo! And the Blues get it. And a penalty called for holding, I think, on Brown or Cavallini. And it's Cavallini. 3-1, Blues lead. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. got back into this one when the Blues led 1-0 on a power play and they'll get another opportunity now. Paul Cavallini goes off two minutes for holding. Detroit's lone goal coming on the power play. They're one for three tonight. Cavallini doing everything he can in front of the net. Fedorov is there. Along with Iserman. He gets nailed for holding. Blues will be a man short. Face off to the right of Vincent Riendo. Iserman up front. With Fetter off and Miller get it back on the point to chase on. Left wing to Eisenman to chase on. And it comes outside the line. Here's Chase on at center ice. Drills it in around the boards. Eisenman on left wing. In traffic in the corner. Butcher there plays one to the far side. And Dave Lowry, he flips it down the ice. Good hustle by Lowry. And the Red Wings skate back. Blues lead 3-1 here in game seven. Chase on to center ice for the Red Wings. Hits the St. Louis line, dumps it behind the goal, but Sutter gets to it first. Whaps it around the boards, and Racine can't hold it in. It goes down the ice. A minute 15 left in the Blues penalty. Now Chase on at his own line. Up on right wing at center ice for Racine. Drills it in around the boards. Now in the far corner, Stevens stole it. Can't clear it by Chase on. There's Chase on right point. Lost it, and Stevens poked it away again. Better off in his own line for the Red Wings. Better off, makes some moves. Hits the line, a shot blocked. And Stevens behind the Blues goal. Shoots it around the boards. But Crimin kept it in a great play. Now to Fedorov near side, centers it. And Eisenman missed the tip in Mahar. Whacks it down the ice. Now half a minute left in Paul Cavalini's minor. Red Wings McCrimmon in behind his own goal. He skates the puck to center ice. Long dump in around the boards. Comes in front. Over to drive, and that goes high. And then a Red Wing player. Burr runs right over Riendo. And that will be a penalty as Burr Really ran Rando over. Marowa was right there after the play. Probert will take the shot. It goes over the net. The action is in front of the net. I don't know if maybe Burgot didn't get hit by the puck. He toppled over Riendo. That's where the penalty's from. That's what he may be arguing. He got hit from the puck. You can't really see it on the replay. And for Brian Murray is another series slipping away. Yes. It is. The Blues lead at 3-1 with 13.56 left. Still a lot of time. Each team a man short, but the Blues will get a power play in 10 seconds. Brown behind his own goal. He'll wait back there. And Paul Cavalini jumps out of the box. And the Blues on their fourth power play. A goal here would nearly shut the door on the Red Wings. Stevens to center. Shoots it in. The Crimin back. Gets it ahead, held in by Stevens. Now to the corner, Tomlinson there. Two outs, back to Stevens. Let's it go, hit the goal post! Oh, Stevens hit the post, and the Red Wings cleared away. And the Wings dodged a huge bullet there. Now the Blues to center, outs for Stevens. Into Brown on right wing. Hooked up, Dallas for the Red Wings. He'll clear it to center ice. And down the ice, Oates after it. Miller on him, Oates there. Left it. Fedorov in, picks it up. Here's Fedorov. Into the corner, behind the goal. 
Now Fetter off far side. And he'll play it back to center. 50 seconds left in the Blues power play. Green flips it in. 12.40 left in regulation. The Blues lead 3-1. Here's Brown behind the Blues goal. Up on right wing to Oates. Oates to center. Now to Brown across the line. Right wing to Dave Tomlinson. Tomlinson to Hall. Back to Brown. Now to Paul Cavallini. Left wing for Oates. Back to Cavallini. That shot just wide. Oates centers it. Or rather Hall. And it's tipped away by the Red Wings and cleared down the ice by Fedorov. A dozen seconds left in Burr's minor. Now Paul Cavalini at center ice to Quinn. Quinn across the Red Wing line on right wing. Quinn throws it toward the goal. A stick saved by Shovel Day. And now Burr back on the Red Wings at full strength. Here's Brindamore near corner. Right wing to Quinn. A shot! And he just missed the far side. Held in by Paul Cavalini. And Brindamore tipped that wide. Now the Blues attack again. Rod Brindamore on right wing. The Quinn puts it right through the goal crease. And Burr on right wing for the Red Wings. Flips it back to center. And it goes down the ice. No icing here. Butcher back there. And he plays it down the ice. 11.25 left. Third period. The Blues lead 3-1. Marsh for Detroit. To Prover at center ice. To Primo across the line. Beats Mirwa. And Featherstone got back and hooked him. And a penalty call. On Featherstone, oh boy, the fans don't like that one. But he'll go off. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Keith Primo, former number one draft pick, a big kid, goes around Marwa. Marwa hooks him. He pulled down, and Marwa goes off for hooking at 8.49. Detroit goes back on the power play. They're one for four tonight, but they trail 3-1. 11-11 left in regulation time. That big goal again in the third period at 159 Sutter from Lowry and Paul Cavallini. Face off right of Riendo. The Wings get the draw chase on left point. Lost it. And Mahar clears it. Then it goes down the ice. Shovel Day out to play it. Back for Mark Hapshide, who has been used very little in this game. Hapshide at center ice for Iserman. Gets across center, drills it in. Far side, Red Wings get a chase on. Across to Hapshide, back to chase on. Now for Hapshide, to chase on. Into the near corner for Eisenman. Out top to Hapshide, to chase on. Back to Hapshide on the left point. On this Red Wing power play, chase on a shot. And it's kept just wide by Miller. Held in by the Red Wings. But now Butcher gets it. Can't clear it by chase on. He held it in left point behind the goal, Eisenman. Butcher knocked down. Red Wings play it back on the point, and it goes down the ice. Shovel a pass to center, exactly a minute left. And there was Miner. Chase on at his own line for Detroit. Across to Hapshide, back for Steve. Chase on. Now to Miller, broken up by Bassett. Cleared away. Hapshide will try and dump it in. Blocked by Sutter. And Scott Stevens slams it down the ice. Great penalty killing by the Blues. Now 35 seconds left in Marois minor. Iserman in his own zone for Detroit. That center ice to Burr. In on left wing, a shot, a pad saved by Riendo. And Paul Cavani puts it back to center, knocked down with a high stick by the Red Wings. And that brings about a whistle from Terry Gregson. Masterful job by the Blues penalty killing units. The credit here is they leave 3-1. 22 seconds remain on Marois penalty. You can score big savings right now during Metro Lighting's spring decorating sale. Save 20 to 50% on a huge selection of lighting fixtures at all six Metro Lighting locations. 9.33 left and time now on the blue side. A big collision behind and Garth Butcher puts on a pretty good acting job here. He knew he was going to get interfered, so he, I think he took a little dive, John. Good job by Garth Butcher, though. He has played very well. You can see why Ron Caron went after the veteran defenseman Garth Butcher. Face off to the left of Cheval Bay. 20 seconds left in the Blues penalty. The puck to center. And Butcher shoots it right in. Racine for Detroit. A dozen seconds left in the Red Wing power play. Now Racine at center to Probert into the blue zone. But McDougal was pushed in across the line offside. 
I want to continue that story on Billy McDougal. Last year, he spent most of the year in Erie in the East Coast League. He had 80 goals in 57 games, 148 total points before getting called up to Adirondack, where he had 10 goals in 11 games. I mentioned three years ago, he was playing senior hockey in Newfoundland. It's quite a story, playing in the seventh game. I go back to Coach Brian Murray, five changes in the lineup. You bring in two guys who haven't even played in this series. Go with seven defensemen. You've got to question the strategy. Well, he was going with experience. Now the wings dump it in a bad hop. Then shoot Chuck put it wide. Now Marois back on a long shot by Racine. Glove down. And Riendo covers up. He bobbled the shot for a minute, but he holds on. The Blues plays 3-1. This is St. Louis Blues hockey. Blue Scott Stevens had a chance to ice this one. He took the shot, a long shot from just inside the blue line. Good low shot. He beats Chevelday, but he hits the post. That was while the Blues were on the power play. The Blues still lead 3-1 with 9.06 remaining. Blues out shooting Detroit 6-3 in this period. Face off right of Riendo. Fetter off. Up front, Shuchuk and Burr, the wingers. Oates, Hull, and Tomlinson on the ice. The Blues control. Tomlinson can't clear a shot by Shuchuk. On goal, but Riendo handled that, and back is Brown to center ice for the Blues. Brown along, dump it. Ends up behind the goal. Here's Racine. Long pass. Goes on goal. Riendo will play it ahead, but Tomlinson picks it up. Clears it near the line, not out. Stevens for the Blues behind his net. Gets it to the near side. Hull is there with Oates. Hull held up. Probert kept it in. In front. For a shot. And a skate save by Riendo. And then Probert runs into Jeff Brown. As a break in the action. Ought to be a great time to break for the great taste of Bud Light. It's a big hit with fans everywhere because everything else is just a light. The clock doesn't move very quickly, does it, this time of the game? No, it's like a, the sand through an hourglass, as they like to say. Oh, you're smooth. Right, 8.24 remaining. Blues with a 3-1 lead. Quinn, Hull, and Sutter have gotten the goals. He's Racine on a power play, the lone goal for the Detroit Red Wings. Face off to the right of Vinny Riendo, who's played well, but only 16 shots his way. He has been there to make the save. Now face offs even become more important. Well, this draw won by the Blues. Can't clear it, though. Green left point. Gets it to the corner. Now Riendo knocked it away. Up to Gino Cavalini. Knocked down by Probert. Oh, and Paul Cavalini came over and poked it away to center. Zombo flips it back in. Dan Quinn behind the goal. Here's Quinn in traffic. Knocked down. Primo centers it. Brindamore there to break it up. And Paul Cavalini kicks the puck ahead and shoots it in. Chevelday shovels it ahead on left wing. And it rolls to center. Quinn back to Butcher at his own line. He fell down. Carson has a breakaway. Shoot, he scores! Carson! And the Red Wings are not dead yet on a fluke goal. Butcher fell down, and Carson scores to make it 3-2. 12-27 is the time. Jimmy Carson with his second goal. It's one of those things. Butcher... This falls down and allows Carson to come in all alone. He goes through Riendo's legs. Brings the Red Wings back to within one. These fans appreciate of what the Blues have done are still with them. John, the Blues have still got the lead. Obviously, it's not a time to panic. You still go after the Detroit Red Wings to try and get that next goal. Carson unassisted. 27, it's 3-2. Now the wings off the draw. Dallas in his own line ahead. Iserman along, dump it. Behind the goal it goes. Jeff Brown there. Can't clear it by Fenneroff. Brown has it again. Now for Stevens far side. Up to Lowry, he clears it away. Shot back in by Chase on, it's offside. At the St. Louis line. Now in Calgary, the Flames have a 3-1 lead over the Edmonton Oilers. 
game in the second period. Reichel, Neuendijk, and Fleury had given Calgary a 3-0 lead, but Tekin and Redmonton came back to bring back within two. Pure and Vernon, the goaltenders. We'll watch that game. Well, not much you can do. Garth Butcher really all alone. He's going to handle the puck. He stops and he loses his balance and falls down, and that allows Carson to come in all alone, beating Rando five-hole, they call it, right between the legs. Now 7.05 left. The Blues lead 3-2. Here in game seven, the winner meets the North Stars starting Thursday. Chase on to Iserman at center for half shot on right wing. They'll drive it in. Riendo missed it. Better off near corner. Bump by Sutter. Buck behind the goal. Four players there. It's kick free to Stevens. Up to Lowry on left wing. Lowry ahead for Basson too far. And Shovelday will play it ahead on right wing to Mark Hapshide. Brink wide to Iserman. Gets to center, beats Tomlinson across the line. Knocked away, but Hapshide in front. Eisenman robbed by Riendo at the edge of the goal crease. And Butcher is there for the Blues. There's Butcher, back to center ice. Left wing to Tomlinson, tripped up, nothing called. And the Red Wings were seen in his own zone. At center ice, Burr is there, lost it, and Hulk shoves it back in. But it's offside. It's 3-2 for the Blues. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Blues 3, Detroit 2. Latest chance by Detroit was from Steve Eiserman. A good pass. He's on the right side. Riendo gets across, though, and makes a great save. 6.04 remain in the third period. Face off in the neutral zone. Blues have a precarious 3-2 lead. Now the Red Wings to center. Miller shoots it in. Merwa back for the Blues behind the goal. Up to Tomlinson on left wing. At center for Hall. He missed it, but it goes down the ice. No icing here. As the Red Wings skate back. We're seen behind his goal. Up to Burr on left wing at center. Now for Miller into the zone. Shuchuk bumped. Burr a shot blocked. And Oates gets it for the Blues. Here's Oates to center ice with Hall. Oates in and right wing. Oates still has it. Fell down, gets up. Into the corner for Rod Brindamore. Behind the goal. McCrimmon poked it by Hall. Up to Shuchuk on right wing. Clears the center for Miller. And Miller's long drive. Near side. Riendo missed it. Primo kept it in. He's bumped by Butcher. And with five minutes left, Oates clears one to Brindamore. Plays it off the boards to center. Red Wings, Carson there. He got that goal unassisted at 12.27 to get the Red Wings back in it. It's still 3-2 Blues. Here come the Blues. Quinn to center ice. Checked. Now Green for Probert. He'll golf it in. And Paul Cavani for the Blues. Off the boards. Hit his brother Gino in the back. But the Blues get it. Here's Quinn to center. Quinn shoots it in. Shovel day. Plays it. Lost it. Gino Kevley centers it. And Quinn missed it. Stevens kept it in. Behind the goal. Brindamore in traffic. Now it comes in front. And Carson knocked it away. And back come the Red Wings. Carson to center. Pass on left wing. Brindamore tipped it back to center. Great checking by the Blues. Now chase on for Detroit. Long dump in behind the net. It goes. Four minutes left in the third. 3-2 of the Blues lead. Here's Basson back to center ice. Drives it in. Chevrolet clears it ahead. And Eisenman for Detroit. That center ice to Federoff. Into the blue zone. Federoff on left wing to the corner. Behind the goal. Centers. Oh! And Chase on just missed it. And back is Jeff Brown. Has a break on left wing. In the clear. And that was a great play. He stopped Brown on a partial breakaway. And Chase on for Detroit. Up to McDougal, or rather, McDougal lost it. Back is Oates for the Blues. In on left wing. Centers it to Hall, tipped away by Burr. And Burr to center ice with Eiserman. 3-10 to go. Eiserman in on left wing. To the near corner. Back on the right point, McCrimmon. A shot right on, a save by Riendo. Puck goes behind the goal. Eiserman gets it. Centers it. McCrimmon a shot right on a save by Riendo again. Eisenman centers again. Knocked away by Oates. Not a hole in on right wing. And he lost the puck. And the wings take over. 
What action, 2.45 left. The Blues lead 3-2. Red Wings clear it in. Near side, Paul Cavallini. Can't get it out. Blues would like a face-off here. Mirwa behind the goal. Up to Hall on right wing, and he chops it down the ice. A good play by Hall. And icing coming up on the Red Wings. Oh, is it ever tight here in St. Louis in game seven? 3-2 Blues. This is St. Louis Blues hockey.
crowd. That'll give us a chance to tell you about the Blues Cruise with Curtis Joseph, Rick Mahar, Jeff Brown, and John Kelly. It's from July 20th to the 27th. The seven-day cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line stops at St. Martin, St. John, St. Thomas, and NCL Pleasure Island. For more information on the Blues Cruise, call Cardinal Travel at 895-1010 or state 1-800-325-4133. Well, Bruce, it's fair to say the Blues have gotten the brakes on the line calls tonight. Yes, I would say that, although that hall goal in slow motion, I think you see that it's onside. They get a break here. Eiserman all alone in front. The crowd not hearing the whistle. I don't think many of the players hearing the whistle. But Eiserman didn't argue very much. Plays right at the blue line. From our position, we couldn't see if the puck really came out or not. And that could be a big call, John Kelly. Linesman right on top of the play. He had a better view than any of us. Well, you can only assume it was out by a good margin. 3-2 the Blues lead. 44 seconds left in the third. And the Red Wings will leave the goalie off. And the face-off's at center ice. How big is this face-off? Huge. Red Wings send out Eisenman, Fedorov, Colbert, and Miller. Chase on and Racine, the point man. Basson. Tomlinson in center up front. Brown and Stevens on the fence. Now Basson will let center take it. Against Eiserman. 44 seconds left. Will the Blues go on and meet the North Stars here Thursday? Brian Sutter showing a lot of confidence in Davey Tomlinson putting him out there on left wing. Now they get set again. Eiserman gets it back. Racine. Lost it. Center at center can't find it. Now it's dumped in. Stevens poked it away from Miller. And Scott Stevens there to clear it. Up the boards. And Basson is there. Can't get it out. And Basson knocked down. And a faceoff about 10 feet inside the Blues line. Oh, the Blues had a great chance to clear it there, Bruce. But I think it hit the referee. The referee or one of the Blues players. I'm not sure which. There was a crowd along those left wing boards. 29 seconds on the clock. Sutter had the first opportunity, then Bassett. I think it may have hit Davey Tomlinson. Bassett does a good job of smothering the puck with two of the Blues players down on the ice. Now it's interesting to watch the coaches match up here. Timeout now being called by Detroit. Well, in the other seventh game, Calgary has a 3-2 lead on Edmonton. That's in the second period, so that one's a long way from being over. This one's a long way from being over. Brian Sutter saying, if you get the puck, don't ice it. Just clear it to center ice or into the zone, but don't ice the puck. That's right. We saw that empty net goal in this series in game three. Now the Blues lead at 3-2, 29 seconds remaining. This crowd will be up on its feet, cheering the Blues. The winner of this goes on to meet Minnesota. 29 seconds left. 3-2, Blues lead in game seven. Face off 10 feet inside the line. Eiserman against Bassett. Here we go. They tie each other up. It's poked by Stevens, not out. Stevens chops it. Basson is there, and he pokes it to center ice. Played back in offside. Nine seconds left. Again, good work by the Blues. Nine seconds to go. If you win the draw here, you just about win. That's right. One face off, either that or Bob Basson could go forward on it, get it into the zone. They wouldn't call an icing normally off of a face off. If he can get it down into the Detroit zone, you would think it would be over. You know, Bruce, I thought a lot of time went off that clock. What were there? 24 seconds left? 24 or 29, yeah. 
29, and now it's nine. That wasn't 20 seconds. Sure it was, John. Well, well Detroit's arguing it. Got a question for you? I don't know the answer to this. Is the scorekeeper from St. Louis, or is he with the off-ice officials from Minnesota? Well, the scorekeeper, I believe, is from Minnesota. But he is from Minnesota. Maybe he wants to play the Blues. Nine seconds on the clock. The Blues have out Garth Butcher, Scott Stevens, Rich Sutter, Bob Basson, Dave Tomlinson. Now Brian Murray talking with referee Terry Gregson. I can't blame him. I'd do anything I could, too, to try and get an edge. You know, in game six in Minnesota, John, the North Stars had a power play. And the front of me, Chicago was going to go on a power play. And Mike Keenan called John Casey's stick to measure it and see if it was illegal. It wasn't, and it nullified the power play. A lot of things coaches try and do to get teams in the game or tie it up. Obviously, Brian Murray trying to do anything he can right now. Well, I thought there were 29 seconds left. And if 20 seconds went off the clock in that last sequence, that was the longest or the shortest 20 seconds I've ever seen. Well, Terry Gregson went right into the timekeeper's area to check it out. Now everybody huddled up over by the penalty box. Try and see what's going on. I don't know, Bruce, if we could roll back the tape at regular speed and maybe count down the seconds if we're capable of doing that. 1,001. I don't know if we're capable of doing that either. Something's got to get going. Terry Gregson now explaining to Brian Murray. Now he'll go over to Brian Sutter. He's saying something to Brian Sutter. Sutter, I don't know if he likes it or not, Gino Cavallini said something. Sutter held Gino Cavallini's arm back. Now the goals, Quinn, Hull, and Sutter for the Blues. Carson and Racine for Detroit. Blues had a 1-0 lead, then it was tied up. And they took a 2-1 and a 3-1 lead. And Carson's goal at 12-27, unassisted. Brought the Red Wings back to within one. We believe there's nine seconds remaining. Crowd, not a person sitting, I don't believe. All standing up. Yeah, they're going to put 10 seconds on the board. That's a lot of time. And Scott Stevens arguing with referee Terry Gregson. Now, still, you get the face up. Still the same scenario. It's well, 19 seconds left. 3 2 the Blues lead. Face off at center. The Red Wing goal again is empty. Bassett on the draw, lost it. Red Wings chase on to Fedorov. Works in, it's offside at the line. Bruce, we were just informed by our producer, Tom McLaughlin, that they ran the tape back at full speed, a regular speed, and only 10 seconds elapsed, or nine seconds. So obviously the clock malfunction going from 20 down to nine. Good job, Tom McLaughlin, a good job by the scorekeeper. Now there's 14 seconds left with another faceoff. At the line, Bassett and Iserman again. Red Wings get it, Racine to Fedorov. In on right wing, Stevens knocked it away. Knocked down, Iserman right point, a shot block, and it's off a leg to center, and this game is over! It's over, the Blues have won! The seventh game, 3-2, and they become over the eighth team to come back from a 3-1 deficit. the eighth team in the history of the National Hockey League.
Luckily, to come back from a 3-1 deficit, you will now get the customary handshake after a grueling seven-game series. The Blues will go on to meet the Minnesota North Stars, John Kelly. First game will be Thursday night here at the arena, then Saturday at the arena before going on to Minnesota. The Blues will have the home ice advantage the rest of the way through the playoffs. Well, the traditional handshake at center ice. Scott Stevens certainly played a whale of a series. And the Blues make history here in St. Louis. Only the eighth team to come back from a 3-1 hole. And they played a super game. Trying to go back to game five, Kelly Chase. Inserted into the lineup, Dave Tomlinson comes up, has a great game. I still got a question, Brian Murray and his changes for the lineup tonight. Five players scratched from the lineup who were in it the other night. Two players he inserts haven't played in the series. He went with experience on defense, but it didn't pay off. scored by number 16, Brett Hall, with only 21 seconds left in the second period. That, obviously, the key goal in the game. I agree with you, John. Now, Brett Hall, with the big goal. As we look at the Budweiser three stars, the number three star from Detroit, Jimmy Carson, he got him back into it with the breakaway goal, 12-27 of the third. Number two star, Brett Hall. He had his eighth goal of the series. And number one star, Adam Oates. He had two assists as he assisted on Quinn's and Hall's goal. The Budweiser number one star. So the Blues win a seventh game thriller. Three to the final. So the Blues come all the way back from a 3-1 deficit in games, and they win game seven, 3-2. Rich Sutter, Brian's younger brother, gets the eventual game-winning goal with that goal early in the third period. And that is typical of, of, of a grinding line. I mean, that line, Bath and Lowry and Rich Sutter, uh, every 